do as a uh, county commissioner um, over in Mora County. Um, what I, I, I'm fifth generation over in Mora County. Um, I actually reside in a home that belongs to my great-great-grandparents. So my home is approximately 200 years old. Um, I have walls that are literally that thick. Um, they are uh, adobe home. Um, it's warm in the, in the winter. It's cool in the summer. I don't have any, uh, uh, any air conditioning in, in my home at all. Sometimes I have to go outside to to warm up. <laughs> so, so it's definitely a place to be. Um, I, uh, I, I've been on the commission for, uh, this is my third year. I just took the chairmanship over in January of 2013. Um, what has been happening for several years now has been uh, oil and gas industry, hydraulic fracturing has actually been uh, kind of knocking at the doors of northeastern New Mexico. Um, I can remember back in, when I first came on back in 2010, um, what is, what uh, the oil and gas company did is they sponsored a, uh, an activity over with the New Mexico Association of Counties. So what, what, what the county government does is every January, right before the state legislature happens, they, uh, they hold an event for all elected officials in, in Santa Fe. Um, the oil and gas industry actually sponsored that activity. Um, what they did is they uh, called for all northeastern New Mexico elected officials to come over to this presentation that oil and gas had. Um, they had a vested interest in northeastern New Mexico that encompasses Mora County, San Miguel County, Union County, Guadalupe County, and Colfax County. We know north of us in Colfax County there's already activity of drilling that's happening up there. Um, Raton has a whole bunch of wells that are in there. Um, what has happened over the last couple of years, and um, we've been looking at different options about either regulating oil and gas, and there's a lot of communities that have done that, um, we're on the other side of the fence and we want to ban it completely. Um, so there's a lot of pushback that's happening within our community about, not necessarily within the community, but from the industry, uh, from, uh, uh, from attorneys that are actually looking at what it is we're trying to do. Um, we are a, uh, uh, I, I would consider us as a uh, cash poor, asset rich. We have a whole bunch of land. Um, I, I would not consider us a, a, a poor community, although financially, if you want to call it that, that's what we are. Uh, but we are very traditional. We, uh, you know, we want to pre preserve the culture, the heritage. I think what we're looking at doing right now is to go back into an agricultural based community. There's a lot of efforts going on within our community right now to um, to begin co-ops, uh, there's coal frames that are going on. Uh, there are uh, there's a lot of activity around agriculture that is going on. So when you t start talking about the agriculture-based